Um, he was able to take a game off of Raido in under a minute at the Mango. Uh, I think Raido's going to be a little bit more ready for how Elegant wants to get in. Um, I don't think Elegant is going to like just bum rush him. I think Elegant, especially, what? I think in this game, he's gotten a lot better at playing neutral because I think he can't really be as aggressive as he wanted to be in Smash 4. So you still see his aggression, but it's like mixed more with like picking when and where he wants to go in because he has a very laggy dash guard. So it's like, I feel like Elegant has to, with this character specifically and how they change him, you have to do a little bit more conditioning before going for that, like, that makes sense. opening, because it's it's actually, like, risky now. That makes sense. And as we get into Grand Finals, I want to shout out one more time. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in so late. You know, it's uh, had a lot of matches here. You know what? They've been a lot of great sets as well. Let's get into Grand Finals. Elegant versus Rido. Yeah, if you're, if you're not West Coast, I, like, super give you props, man. Like, <laughs> Still up, especially if you're East Coast. Like, what? Oh, the true ones. <laughs> you guys are, you guys are the real ones. The real ones. Yeah. Oh, spot the. That is the ultimate classic right there. I'm gonna do something, and you're gonna think you can punish it, but then I'm gonna spot dodge, and then I'm gonna kill you. Actually, that is like that's the moment. That's the worst feeling to have. That's that's as ultimate as you can get. Oh, uh, like I got oh super baited. Oh my. All right, Elegant, you got 15 seconds. Go, go, go. Can you beat your last record? Oh, oh I don't crap. know. The disc is stalled. Yeah, I know. He's, he's stalling out the timer with the disc, man. All right, I don't, I don't think he's going to kill him in five seconds. You had your chance, Elegant. But it's okay. You can still win this game. Angle down from 40 so looks like. Oh, up, down, all around. Back here, 66. Get the reset. Yes, we're getting the chase down. Oh, my. Wow. Taper right up air into back air. It's really sending. Righto from one corner to the other. Yeah, you're definitely like one up the away from death. Oh dang, but we're going off the top with the confetti flying all over the place. Can. What was that? Luigi can combo, man. He, he up smashed that can and he comboed it into the can hit. Double plunger. Oh, There's the chop him up. Did not expect the chop, man. Righto getting caught a little off guard and a solid two stock from Elegant, man. What a way. To start off this grand finals, obviously Elegant coming hot from losers. So, we'll see if Raido uh, has a chance to kind of bring back some of this momentum on his side, man. I feel like Elegant kind of hogging up all the momentum right now. Oh, for sure, especially with the way uh, that he was playing against Larry, and now he's carrying that same momentum here in grand finals against Raido. Elegant is definitely not someone, or I'm sorry, he's someone you need to ice. Yes. If if uh, you're playing against Elegant, he just 3 0 someone. He did it with style in that last game. That's when I'm taking the five-minute break. I'm going to go get some water, use the restroom. This man is feeling himself out with Luigi. It is a dangerous, dangerous combination and uh, usually results in not having fun. So, yeah, Raido definitely need. Uh, I'm going to try to slow things down here. Not let Elegant get too out of hand. See a lot of control. I mean, most of these owners are gonna have a lot of like controlling type moves. Of course, the down beat and the can can be the main things for the duck hunt dog. Okay, the game is jamming, jamming them one, two, three. Now just keeping Rido off the left side of the stage, even getting it down to a punishing with his directional air dodge. But Rido finally able to make it back to stage, but not after taking 100. Yeah, it's so good as well. Rido going up high. The up smash coming out from Elegant. Really nice stuff there. Gonna get this lead and man. I don't know, man. Elegant looking like he uh, is Elegant looking like he about to go up to I, I know he's gotta rack up a little bit more damage, but I love that Elegant is using like run-up shield and damage as well. Yeah, he's actually been his can awareness has been very good in this set. Uh, we'll even see times where like Ryder will have it on a platform and he'll just like use moves that either create uh, a hitbox so that it's a threat to the can to knock it away or right. threat to Raido and the can at the same time. Yeah, even run up shield, if the can is like, if, if Duck Hunt like pulls the can out and you shield it, like you just, it, it detonates. So you can definitely use that against Duck Hunt as well. Of course the spin can be one of Luigi's uh, main combo breakers there. Okay, dash attack going to whip, but no punish coming from Raido. 
Yeah, this is down though, very, very destructive. Set up the plunder, but Raido just gonna up air right through the pressure right now. Quick gunman setting up the can as well. Every chance Raido gets to set up one of those gunmen, probably uh, one of the strongest projectiles for Duck Hunter and the can. Pretty much being the two main ones. Reading the down, the can is in play. Unfortunately, it is going to be going the opposite direction of where Elegant is. But it'll kind of up smash to punish the tornado. Yes, and that is where Raido needs to cash out, man. These tornadoes are not super risky, but the DI on that was suspect. Not sure if Raido could do anything there. He was on the platform, but definitely wasn't the greatest DI. Elegant definitely looks like he's playing Raido's game right now as he is forced to chase him all over town and city. It's hard, man. That neutral is so strong compared with the gunman as well. It just forces you like in the shield or in the air. And for the most part, that's what the Duck Gun wants you to do in this uh, particular strategy. Okay, there's a down throw. Oh. Up air into back air. Down tilt? No. Gonna go high with the neutral air. Once again, the gunman right into the can. So much damage. Oh, the homie shot him. Nice. Down throw, but the can not in the correct position. He'd go for a kill. Boy, Elegant's going for his own grab setup. Yes, I believe if Elegant gets a grab into a B, he auto wins. Kind of a big deal. Man, there's that plunger from the past. Help me, the DI. Can explode, saying Elegant almost to the blast zone. Okay. Dipping, weaving through all these projectiles, man. Through all these characters. Grab the jab. 177% here on Nico. Another trade with the up air, but the forward air will seal it out. Great right. set right oh, on the board, 1-1. One, one. Look at Duck Hunt. You know exactly what he did. Oh, He's yeah. out there in the jungle trolling DK, Diddy, and K. Rool. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was in the Banjo trailer. I, I, I love those, like, little funny snippets. Honestly, my favorite, the funniest snippet that I love from the director was uh, the Bowser skip. Oh, in the beginning? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Dude, that man had a, or Bowser had a tie. Three, he had his lines rehearsed. He was ready to like yeah, direct yeah. his people. Yeah, Bowser definitely went into that. <laughs> oh man, but a full hop is not gonna get you that drill to the death, Elegant. That could have been a huge opportunity lost. I mean, we're putting Rido on the side of the stage. You know, that's kind of where Rido wants to be. So I just noticed uh, Rido's tag. Yeah, Banjo. Banjo. That's why if Larry played Kazooie and he went for her, that was perfect. <laughs> oh, the misfire! Wow. <laughs> I know someone in the crowd said, he is. Hey, when RNG's on your side. Hey, man, when you, when you main Luigi, it's okay. It's absolutely okay. <laughs> what if your pocket Luigi does it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> here and honestly Elegant looking like in a pretty good spot but last time he was in a pretty good spot kind of just went down like that man like couldn't get too much extra damage eventually died when you're playing Rido's game it's really tough you're setting momentum you're setting traps you oh, gotta yeah. bob and weave while you approach oh yeah he's extremely difficult especially with Luigi's like horrible traction as well it does not help you at all Again, very, very pesky, very good at DC. Okay, Sam, the gunman not looking the right way, though. Right. It doesn't end. look like it, the, the gunman would have been much used anywhere. Oh, wow, oh, tornado. I mean, we're used to seeing tornado take stock, but that one didn't really look like it was going to kill. Yeah, that must have been like, I ultra super mix, got mixed up, and I like, yeah, the up. most horrible way I could ever possibly do that. Yeah. 
good. Another deep can situation where Elegant thought he was safe, recovering low, and the can was there to meet him. Yeah, definitely got us. Sometimes you just gotta respect that. But you never know. Hey, a set up once again. And the homie's out. The homie. Back here to seal it out. Elegant gonna put himself. The game three situation up 2-1 versus Rido. That's right, one more game. And he'll have the reset against Rido. This being that much closer to winning the big pot here at the season finale of Wednesday Night Fights. $15,000. That's a lot of moolah. That is the prize pool for this tournament, of course. First place, I don't know the exact percentage breakdown, but I'm assuming around 50%. These players playing for pretty much like seven, over $7,000. Yeah. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, that's a lot of money to me. You can definitely make some use of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I mean, whoever wins will definitely make great use of it, but we'll see who it is. Right on Elliot, man. Battling for that money. And of course, the pride. The pride's on the line as well. Oh, yeah. Definitely want to be the uh, season two Wizard I Fight finale champion. There's a lot of bragging rights that come with it. Oh, yeah, for sure. It is down throw. I like the DI in coming out from Elliot, but Rido just waiting it out. Following up with the L Smash after the lag comes through. Looks like Elegant falling into his old habits a little bit. He's just using a tornado to break out of pressure situations. Rido recognizing it. Oh, yeah. Now, Rido way much more willing to bait it because he's a, a donor type anyway. He's not really like trying to get two kills three. So, I think it's going to be a little bit more situational. With that drop down back air from the ledge. Very smart. Oh, that rag down up there? Okay, roll behind the gunman, get the jab, get the tech roll. No, oh, man, he's just stopping. Another gun to set up. Oh, the up smash keeping him so far away, though. That's that, that third player coming in clutch for the dog. That has to be easy. Okay, forward throw into the can setup. More can pressure. More air into can. Something, something aerial in the can. Let's go. Uh, is that the is that the formula? That's the, well, that right there is the initial pull out, and that uh, you have to like wait a moment. Oh, but the upbeat. Why are you touching my shield? Get off me! I be a person have you have shield now, and that is very, very, very strong. Looking for the down throw on the can, but it doesn't look like Rido wanted to uh, commit to it. Can we just see Duck kind of push forward? Maybe Elliot waiting for him to come forward to get up. That's Who is the DI? Did you see the DI on the back throw from Elliot? Yeah. Just like completely avoided the can. Not that time though. Oh, look for another up smash. And Etzel is going to connect for Rido. All the projectiles. All the projectiles to get to this duck hunt, to get to this bad man. Blocking by Rido, of course, and just like that, man, Rido with a very, very commanding win. 2-2 two, two is the score. And at this point, we're gonna see either what could potentially be the last game of the set, or the of the tournament. Yeah, it's all coming down to this. See if Rido can close it out, man. Oh, dang, dude, people offering free Elegant canes? Free canes, dude, dang. So, seven, over $7,000 to end free canes? Yeah, I know, right? I, 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 I'm pretty I sure like he should like, be buying right, everyone guys, canes. Uh, yeah. All right, guys, like, if I win, like, I should treat everyone to canes, right? Like, oh, man. $7,000 and canes. You know, the pot wasn't worth it before, but now we had those that canes in. Canes, though? All right, he's trying extra hard now. <laughs> 
Huh, I wonder... I know Raido has been working on some uh, more popular characters, I'll call them. So, huh, it's very interesting not seeing any of them come out. Just gonna opt for the dunk out, just gonna opt for that close pressure. Yep, he's gonna get punished out of shield. Little Banjo setting up the can. Beautiful snipe. Ooh, that was an interesting hand swipe off the side. Yeah, you're able to drop the gun in off the side as well. And based off of what gunmen they are, they'll like fire. Okay. Oh, tornado coming out to beat out the forward air from Rido. Relieve a little bit of pressure now. We see Elegant and it's his time to set up these light traps. But Rido is able to escape. Yeah, Rido knows at this point, um, not giving Elegant momentum is the name of the game. So if you gotta reset for a couple seconds to earn some of that momentum, definitely will. That's right. Homie's coming in clutch for Raido. He can. Unfortunately, rocking the wrong way. Oh, yeah. Oh! The can actually... The can setup actually turned out very strong because it interrupted Elegant's combo. Yeah, that's really smart. And that's, uh, that's really what you need. Especially against like someone's combo game that's that good, you just gotta be like, you know what, I'm not having any of this. Okay, no tech. Oh, and no no man. chance to tech that time. No tech, no chance, man. Off the bottom blast zone. Elegant goes. The down air coming off from Doug Hunt. Such a strong tool for Pikachu and Pikachu to have just like off stage actually insane. Yeah, another down throw to next. I'm always waiting for Elegant to run off and down air. Okay, gets the single coin up beat on the can. The chase down, but Raido is not giving him any room to breathe, man. There's the can to cover roll as well. Doesn't get too much damage, but keeping this ledge trap going. Now bringing out the discus. Using all your projectiles. Okay, the cross up back there does connect. Oh, look at that can coverage, but a misfire is going to allow Elegant to escape. Yeah, that was so, so close. Okay. Fair strings. There, up there, yo. Oh, some monster. <laughs> no. Wow, I'm so tired. <laughs> I literally thought Duck and Dog was monster. <laughs> uh, Thursday morning fights, everyone. Okay, there's the back throw, and now here comes the can setup. <laughs> To be fair, I'm pretty excited for the new monster. <laughs> and I was at E3, so I was like, I was pretty hyped for it. And this is game five. <laughs> yep, game five. There's going to bring it back to a single stock apiece. What did he hit him with? A can. Oh, man. can sent him in the opposite direction. I don't understand it, but okay. Elegant has a very large lead. Oh. And he's got this lead trap as well, but this can't. I love how Raido is just, you, we barely, but correct the eye, he is going to live 152%. Oh. The down air, doesn't matter which way you're going, you're dead, and we got a bracket reset. That's right. Maximum five more games coming your way. You know what? If we can be, if, if, if a game 10 is possible, you know what, man? I'm ready for it. Let's get it. You ready? I'm all right. I'm ready. Well, if I'm Rido, I'm definitely ice and elegant. I'm gonna add as much time, take as slow as setting I'm up. I'm gonna RPS yeah. as slow as possible. Yep. I need to reset up my controls. I'm pretty sure I did them wrong. I'm not even gonna check. I'm just gonna delete gonna, my name and then slowly input my controls. Right. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh snap! I gotta use the bathroom. Yep. Go up to the TO. Double check if it's best of five or not on this reset. You know. Stretch a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, so, man, we're bracket reset, elegant, coming from the loser's bracket. It's pretty much SoCal versus Japan at this point. That's right. Our defender is here. He has reset the bracket. Now he's pumping himself up. You know, that that's one thing about elegant. You got to get pumped. You got you to gotta get pumped, especially if it's 3 in the morning, man. You, you got to get the juices flowing. All right, so here's the can, here's the setups, and looks like our first game will be on Battlefield. Very great stuff coming out from Elegant. Now, if I remember correctly, I think a major, uh, 
At least the, the wins for this stage are in Elegant's favor. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But it looks like Banjo, Mr. Raido, is starting off pretty strong here. We've seen him start off strong in this stage before, but I mean, it really only takes a couple of head guards and um, Elegant can turn the table. There's the air dodge, the, you have the double jump, nope. Gonna go right to the ledge here. Raido try to get this angle down forward to another can trade, and I don't know how much more trades Elegant can afford, man. He's already at 164%, these double fireballs. How long will they last? How long will they be safe? He tries to get the grab, but doesn't work out. Yeah, these trades are definitely looking like a GameStop special. Not going in his favor at all. Oh. The homie gonna shoot him up. Pow, pow. Bang, That's bang. That's gonna be a sock. Yeah, and that those gunmen are a lot stronger than Smash 4. Are we gonna get an up B? Yes, Ooh. we are off the top. Elegant with the grab setups. The almighty equalizer coming out from Elegant. Yep. And that's the thing about Luigi, man. At low percent, you can get zero to death. At mid percent, you can get a sweet spot up beat. And at higher percent, you just get down B, man. You just never, ever, ever want to get grabbed by this character. What a character this is. People just think like this is low tier, mid tier? Yeah, I mean, Elegant actually thinks Luigi is a high tier character. So he, he definitely believes in his character. He thinks that Luigi is a lot better, very underrated, and he's trying to prove everybody wrong. He's trying to prove the masses. He's trying to prove to the chat what Luigi can do. And uh, I gotta wonder, man, what, what, what do you guys think? What, what does the chat think, man? If, if you guys think. If you think Luigi's high tier, you know, show me a one, bro. <laughs> show, show me a one. If, if you're, if you think Elegant's blowing oh. himself, just don't press me. <laughs> okay, well, Elegant forced to recover low. The lead trap for the back air is going to connect. It's going to put Raido up full stock. Yeah, Ra Raido's pretty much running away with this opener here in the grand reset. Running away is the correct term, as you can see. He's, he tries to create as much space between himself and Elegant, but a down throw into Tornado. Just gonna even up the stocks. The only way down be killed in that situation is, is if your DI got crossed up and Raido not choosing the right direction. He has to go down and left there. And yeah, Elegant doing a really good job. Oh, trying to set up for that edge guard situation after the plunder. Okay, another cross up back there. Seems to be a, a great tool for the duck hunt. Are they using that shield right next to the can? If it's moving, it will detonate on your shield. Oh, and there's the down air spike. Elegant gonna get that game number one. Man, how many down air enders are we gonna see tonight, man? We saw it on the Spargo sets. We're seeing it over and over on the Rhydo sets. These down air edge guards are on point here for Elegant. Yeah, it definitely seems like a tool that Elegant's using a little bit more than, than we typically see. Uh, great, it's going to be great against Raido because Raido's recovery has no hitbox on it. It yeah. really just challenges you for free. Yeah, there's not much you can do, honestly. You just got to bob and weave. Yeah, at that point, Raido has to utilize uh, the double jump earlier, or you kind of you got that directional air dodge in you, but uh, it's kind of it. I mean, it is a very great option to have directional air dodge like after during or after your up is so good to have. Alright, so Raido getting right into his setup stop the gunman and of course the can. They go hand in hand together. Set up game be strong with this duckman. Like we're seeing similar to the previous game, we're seeing a strong start for Raido. But we if, any, if this set has taught us anything, it's not about the start, it's about how you end. Oh yeah, for sure. It, like it can go back and forth so hard. Oh wait, one inch, yep. Gonna take the can here. Got the freest can explosion. Yeah, right with a uh, surprisingly strong lead here, but I mean that's how kind of game one wins. I feel. Dash attack. Okay, what are these? Zare to grab. That ain't DSS. Very very similar setup. Getting a really good amount of damage here. Right over close out the stock, man. Not very does connect. And now we see the ledge traps coming from Elegant Tornado at the ledge. He's gonna whiff. We're gonna see a back throw. Ever to fill. He tries to slam him out with the gunman, but Elegant gonna take out the gunman's hat, man. Did you think that, uh, that the green missile will actually stop on the the cowboy? Yeah, and I feel like okay, so Elegant's using the tornado, and he like just switches up his drift. Uh -huh. Kind of like mix up the DI. Right. Right. Rido particularly is getting killed very, very early, like a lot. 
off of this uh, DI cross up. Uh -huh. No double jump though, gonna catch him going high. Where do you go? The sweet spot back here, an elegant, an entire stock up here on Raido. Are we gonna see a young zero to death? No, the can comes out to play, but man, at what cost are at 42%? 42%, but still in the game. That could have been a zero to death. You know, just how proficient Elegant is at those zero to deaths at those at zero percent. Oh yeah. You're right, you're right. Definitely worth in that situation. Alright. Rido getting blown up by his own man. Oh man, oh. he just tried to do a dirty right there. Yeah, he tried to go for the super jump punch and the game with some a little bit of style. Oh, moving the can while it hits him. Oh, with the reversal, gonna go right into the discet, to the back air here. What's the lead trap? Almost getting blown off the top. Elliot gonna get the side beat, take out the government, and twirl on him at the same time. Elgin must be a dancer because he's just dancing all over the stage. Oh man, but I wonder if I need to the ledge there or if you want to go down for it down there. But off the top we go with the NATO. Elegant up 2-0 here on Rido this grand final. Rido has to make some type of adjustment. What if the game plan he's been going for has not been working out? He's he is creating space. He's had really strong starts to each game, but it's just Maintaining that lead is where he's having the issue. Can you get back on stage against Elegant, though? Elegant's edge guards have been looking so damn crisp tonight, man. It is it's past 3 a.m. and he's he's playing so clean. It, it's focused, very so focused, very like it's very mind blowing. But yeah, I mean even Rido, Rido's playing very very well, but man, Duck Hunt's recovery just seems like it can be so limited at times. Yeah, definitely struggling staying on stage and getting back to the stage. Okay, oh, snatching him up, but the can maybe. Oh, it's bouncing the wrong way, though. You can't really uh, interrupt that. And a quick 75 here for Elegant. Okay, and there's a distance into the forward air. Another discus into the forward air. Yeah, and Raido doesn't seem like he wants to opt for like double discus. Wow, what a snipe, but he's able. To stay alive here, air dodge through, get through all the gunmen, through all the cans, man. Just swatted right back out again. That's great. Now, Elegant on, on the other side of the coin where he's having a lot of difficulty just staying on the stage. Another back throw, and more can sets are coming out. Like the air dodge mix up. Avoid the can, and of course, the NATO. Really great DI coming out from Raido. Don't want to get crossed just, up. You can't just land for free. You gotta throw a little spin into it. Wow, I like it. Right there, Raido positioned himself so he couldn't get hit by ledge jump, double jump back air. But Elegant was like, don't worry, fam. I can still hit you. I got this lovely move called the Cyclone. Raido returned the favor. Now two stocks apiece for both of the of On the Zare, the plunger falling from the sky, interrupted the grab. Mm, that was a clean carry into the S-match. Elegant trying to cover the low, trying to get this edge guard as early as possible, but the sweet spot Z fly. Man, I don't know how big that sweet spot is, but Elgin making it look a little bit bigger as he continues to land it on Raido over and over and over. Now putting Raido on what is potentially his final stock. Man, Elgin gonna stay safe, go for the ledge trap here. Doesn't want to get some kind of crazy reversal, but the can here. Oh, nice. Doesn't get the combo with though. Right into the cycle, but we get a trade. And we've seen that a couple times in the set, but there's a discus into down air. Unfortunately, not enough to actually launch Elegant into the blast zone. He was at 90 plus percent. Yeah, that uh, that spike be weak. But you know, if you go for the double dip, it might have got the stock. See if Rido can close it out here. Oh wow, the can stopping Elegant right in his tracks. Only 44 percent on the Rido here. This is a very very doable game for Rido. That's right. Tornado to interrupt whatever Rido had planned. Now Rhino landing on the ground. Oh, wow, the disc him, got him out of the plunger grab there. Elegant snatched him up, but wow, the clay pick is so clutch here for Rhino. Yeah, good grab break. <laughs> that looked like a discus into what could have been a can setup. Man, and how the tables have turned. Looks like Rhino with a very clear percentage lead. The discus does connect. Now, see Rhino setting up all the traps, looking for the drop downs. Yeah, I like that the gunman was like about to dip, but Elegant still like took him out, so to speak, so the cooldown's longer. But, man, 
man, already 130%. This is, de oh, wait a minute, up B. No, really good DI, did not go for oh, it. Oh, but there's the pivot grab. And the tornado chase, is that gonna be enough? No, amazing DI coming out from Raido. Yes, and that, that, that was a situation where if he got crossed up, he was dead. So this time, Raido reacting really well. And the throw into the can, even with the correct DI coming out from Elegant, still not gonna survive Raido clutching that game number three out. That's crazy, it didn't even, I couldn't even tell which way he was gonna be sent. Yeah, I, I definitely got mixed on that DI. I thought he was gonna get sent to the left there, but man, Elegant knew he got sent, hit to, uh, sent to the right, he still DI'd correctly, he still died, wow. Okay, all right, Those still showing he's got some life in him. Brings the score 2-1, but now we have Elegant's choice of stage, Battlefield. He is uh, hitting his right knee. Uh, I don't know if there's like any symbol. Oh. Getting blood flowing, man. You know, it's focused, it's focused. <laughs> you know, some people like slack their cheeks, they get the sting in their face. Right. Just realign their focus. That must, he must have nerves in his face, nerves in his knee or something. I don't know. Again, I mean, Elgin oh. gets very uh, physical when he played in Smash 4 because he had the mash. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's still stretching on too. Yeah, there's still situations where you got to mash in this game with uh, like grounded animations or just getting out of grabs. But, uh, man, I, this is scary because if Rydal rides that momentum right into right. game number four, man. Riding it, he is. Only 55%. Okay, but they can get to put a little bit of extra percent on the Rydal. And it seems like Rydal just has a really good feel when Elegant wants to go for these grabs. So he's throwing out these clay pigeons, he's throwing out these cans, he's getting these favorable trades. And at the end of the day, if he does that every time Elegant wants to grab, Elegant ain't getting no grab, which is a big, big problem. This looks like Elegant may be getting a little too antsy, you know. He was really one stock away from winning the entire tournament for the, for the set being over. But now, oh, wow, he's playing, he's getting taken for a ride a little bit. Again, the cross up on the DI from Raido is not DIing that down correctly, and uh, Elegant will take that straight to the bank. Watch out for the can. He has to cut the combo just a tad bit short here. Yeah, Raido putting up his shield and just saying, protect me, can. Yeah, sometimes you got to do it. There's the can. There's the gunman. Raido trying to make all this work. Oh, Yeah, wow. you can't roll into that can. That can was there for a reason. It was there as insurance. And guess what? Raido pays his premium. Yeah, I, I was sure that Elegant was going to throw him off stage, but opting to go for that on stage situation. They're going to get interrupted from the can, though. And still looking pretty even. We're gonna super armor through the can. Oh, he's gonna get punished. No. Rido bringing out the gunman in the can once again, and Elegant cannot avoid this. It's so hard. Let's try to bring out another gunman, but no gunman is available. Again, another trade. Not even really a trade. This can is just racking it up on Elegant. Ooh, what was that? Was that the discus? It's a can. It just elevate the can just a little bit to hit the green missile. I feel like if he gets hit by another can, it could be curtains, man. You're already set, hitting it, sitting at 176%, and just like that, a can evaporating elegant second stock. Right, so do an up throw into can. Nice. Forward throw into cowboy. The cowboy in the can, man. Sounds like a movie. <laughs> cowboy, <laughs> cowboy in the can. Yeah, you get Clint on that one, or, or what? <laughs> Man, I, I just feel like this is uh, this is tough, man. Because if you go into game five after game five like this, it's uh, it's not fun. Uh, it's definitely uh, a momentum killer. It has a lot of uh, external damage or not, not external damage, but mental damage. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially if you're up too old like that. Man, this is looking so tough. Elegant just keep. Getting hit over and over from this can and another can connecting and Rido looking like he's about to two stock elegant no take this jump. to a game five. Game. Yep, no double jump means no mix up. Where's the green missile? I got you with this fair right after a duck hunt dog piloted by Rido, of course. Gonna go into a game number five, aka game number ten, grand finals. And you know it had to be this way. It had to be game 10 for these two. Winner is taking home a big fat check, seven to $8,000 around there. We got a $15,000 pot. So these players are playing for a lot of money.
who will right. take home a lot of money? I We're mean, about let's, to find let's out. Let's be real. They're both going to take home a lot of money, but who's going to take who's home gonna, more, more money? money? More money. Mo money. And we already know, man, uh, money can solve a good amount of problems. Not all of them. Oh, yeah, it's true. Not no, all of them, save, guys. They save money. But a good amount. Though. A good amount of problems. <laughs> Sometimes they can cause more problems, too. <laughs> Sometimes. There are rare scenarios. Okay. Getting the jab, but Raido able to escape the platform. All right, so town and city, man. This is uh, quite the doozy. The, we're going to have a higher ceiling, the highest ceiling, actually, of all the legal stages. Um, so I, I feel like we're not going to see as many kills off the top from, like, the NATO for, right. for Elegant. So very, very interesting counter pick, honestly. Hey, maybe you just be using this, this stage to, to try and live a little bit longer. Uh, he knows that his kill setup is probably still going to work. Super jump punch. Probably kill a little bit or later. Maybe we're right, talking right. like a couple percent. Yeah. Um, but as far as like getting tossed outside the stage, getting hit by can over and over and over, uh, probably gonna last a lot longer against that. Yeah, and no, we've already seen Elliot living to around the 170, 180 mark. Not like crazy consistently, but a good amount. Yeah. So that could even increase even to a larger number here. Oh, I love the wave land down for Rido. Just gets in that safe position. Back throw, going to get this young set up once again. Smack in the can. Get that out of my face. That's right. We didn't order those beans. Send them back to the kitchen. And a tornado. Get, get back on stage. But oh, oh, that can. Man. I'm telling you, man. I, I just feel like Raido. I mean, I, I know he's just throwing out cans because it's a very good move. But I feel like he's also just throwing out these cans and throwing out these side Bs at very good times to like, oh, if you throw out grab, you're just, you just lose here. You're gonna get hit. Nothing trades in a sense. Okay, four throw. Again, setting up shop here. Yeah, forced to roll around that can. Rido was ready for the plan, but he just missed it. And because of that, Elegant is able to pick up a stock. Whipping that grab. I'm gonna meet you with that up smash. Really good stuff from Elegant. Oh, oh. just for fair and air instead of the down air follow up off down throw. There's the double discus into up air. Big damage, and now can back on play. Forward throw, but good DI from Elegant's gonna avoid the can setup. Man, this is such a close game, and every stock this game just feels like Rido with an incredibly uh -oh. huge. Uh -oh. Wow! That can. Okay. The fact that the gunman was there made it so Elegant didn't get stuck into the stage. Yeah, it actually worked out better for him. That was very, very nice. I'm surprised guys... that the misfire didn't kill the cowboy. <laughs> oh, it, it definitely like took him out. Oh, but the up air call out. Is Rido gonna be the one to get the prettier penny in this exchange here? We're gonna find out, man. Elliot close it out, but he's taking that young chip damage, man. Rido is keeping this man out. As he slowly racks up damage, Rido you know, slowly extending his lead. Every single hit is going to matter at this point. Oh, there's the disket. You deal with the gunman, you got the disket. You deal with the disket, you got the can. Just like a horrible version of rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> yeah. He's just not having a fun ending here for Elegant. Already at 50, now 68%, man. Looks like, oh, but the super jump punch, sweet spot. We're here. Last stock situation, game 10. Whoever wins it takes home the dough. Now, like what I was saying earlier, you know, that's the almighty equalizer. Almighty equalizer for Elegant. He's going to be using that as often as he can, especially with a lot of rates that he has at the moment. 111% to the five that Rido currently has. Oh, man, you fell out of that up air, Elegant. You got a second chance at life. What you going to do? Oh, he the whips it. No the way. Up, up smash whipping. Oh, the can was away, too. He didn't have the can as an out. Oh, he's just running up and jabbing those dogs. Okay, get no him jump, the top. No jump. No jump, and no jump needed there into back air, and that almost was enough. 85%, you know Elegant's looking for the back air, and he whipped it! The air dodge perfectly timed, going upwards. Very creative from Raido. Both players sitting at around kill percent. Luigi, of course, known for his amazing kill power. Can Raido close this out? He's had such a huge lead here. The homie in the can just make a super strong combo. Now the can is at the ledge. He's going to be forced to push a button, and the can blows up on Elegant! And there you have it, Rido taking the tournament.
first place, and I love the movement. You saw the little crouch. You saw the walk towards the stage. It faked Elegant out. It put him exactly where Raido wanted him, the ledge trap to take it home. Raido, first place here at Esports Arena Finale Season 2, man. Congratulations. And you know, you know that, that Raido just had his finger on the B button, waiting for Elegant to just make any sort of move. Just activate that active hitbox. He had the finger on the trigger the there. The I win button. Man, and it was such a close game. That edge guard on the right side, it was so close. Very, very great mix-up game and very use of uh, directional air dodge coming out from Raido, man. Because I thought it was over right when Raido was coming up. There was no double jump. I was like, this is a free drop back air. Mm -hmm. But Raido was like, actually, this is my ticket on the stage. This is my ticket to this $15,000 prize, of course. Um, first place is going to get a good half of it, so like $7,000, $8,000, man. Amazing stuff from Raido. Regardless, amazing tournament in general. We had a lot of great talent here. Amazing sets. Was so it was so stacked. I can't remember the last time we had a local this stacked. It's insane. It's been a man. while. Like, we had people travel out to this event. Like, yeah. we had Foe from Vegas. We had Denti from Texas. We had Legit from NorCal. We had four of the Japanese top players mm -hmm. Sue, Raido, Kameme. Uh, There's a lot of talent. Abadongo. Too much talent to, yeah, to mention them all. Practically all the SoCal PR. Insanely stacked tournament. But I think that is going to be it for us.